Hi everyone, welcome back to The Simmer's Nook. I'm recording this intro because last week I had to divide this video into two parts and I recorded it as a whole, as one video. So it felt a little odd to just put you here with the second part if you come in out of context. So basically, you can go check out part one and I will recommend that because I'm showing this full house, what I'm doing here, and I've already done some parts like the basement, almost complete, in that first part. But basically what we're doing here is I'm trying the mermaid challenge in The Sims. Mermaid is a challenge that is mainly done by artists because it was created in the artist community. As I'm an artist, I'm familiar with it and I've done it before. And basically this is a monthly challenge. There is an official prompt list, an official mermaid prompt list with prompts for the 31 days of May. You have 31 prompts and you're supposed to draw something with every prompt or create some sort of art. Every creator is welcome here. You're supposed to do something daily for each prompt or combine prompts in two or three prompts to create something if you can't create every day. The rules are really very flexible because we are all aware that art takes time, right? Basically this is something just to keep your creative juices flowing and try to do something more creative. So what we're doing here is applying this to The Sims and with this 31 day prompt list we're doing a house in The Sims. I had a shelf of the house, you can see that because I tour it in the first video in the beginning and I show you around, I show you the character that I created for this challenge which is obviously a mermaid and after that I'm just applying the prompts to the house and I'm trying to build a house with all those prompts and it's getting pretty crazy like for example we have a mushroom fairy dystopian basement. How did that happen? Well, you can check out part one for that. We did half of the list and we're doing the other half now. So I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you enjoy me going crazy with these prompts because it's quite a lot. 17, prompt 17 is emotion. And actually we can do a lot of things here because we have like these beverages that change your emotions. So maybe we could do a shelf of that in the kitchen. Let's see what pops up. Yeah, so we have the potions, we have the um, emotional plate, a beverage, three of emotions. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm gonna put a couple of these, the trees of emotion. Um, why not? And they match our vibes. This might be from off season, but they will pop up when it's the proper season. Maybe you could put one of these inside. There. And I just saw this, like the wellness volume 2, and we actually created an area of wellness over here, so maybe maybe we'll focus on that. Let's say that this is what she's trying to achieve. Maybe she picked up wellness after the heartbreak, and this is why we're focusing on the wellness here, and we're gonna put this book in maybe in her bedside table. So she's reading that book and trying to get to level three of wellness. This is volume two and three. Okay, there we go. So here we have the three of them. We're gonna put it, them somewhere as if she like achieved it finally. And maybe despite having that area out there, we can put another wellness thing here. Maybe in this corner out there with the candles. I think I'm almost kind of liking this little corner there. So yeah, that's the motion done. We're actually going faster <laughs> this time. It's been like 15 minutes and we tackle like five prompts. That's great. Prompt 18 is deep sea. And I think that after all that we did down here with the algae, all of these, and I also, I did this before. I don't know if I did it in camera or not. I pull out these portraits, they're from, they're from Debug, from Island Living, I think. And they're all like depictions of the sea. And I thought that I will put this around the house because obviously she's a mermaid, so maybe some visuals of that. And I'm gonna take this and the decorations as this is deep sea on, because really, what else can we put? Like, I think we've already added a lot of stuff that screams deep sea. I probably should start arranging this, but at the same time, we have a lot more prompts, so maybe we need to decorate with that in mind. So we're gonna keep going and if we find something that helps us arrange this, we'll see. Okay, so the next one is Sunrise. And actually, I think I told you before that I was putting this portrait here because of that, because as soon as I saw that prompt, I thought about this 
portrait because other than that I don't know if we have anything else yeah so the only things we have is this mirror um, I mean we can use that mirror I'm gonna put a couple of these because I like this ones to be double with this little trick like they look really well together maybe with this picture and this mirrors we can go with this for the theme of the upstairs bathroom and we'll get one more room out of the way. I'm gonna go a little colorful for this bathroom as we are having a very colorful moment out here. Then for walls, I was thinking of something happy, something out of my comfort zone. Oh, this is perfect. I was thinking maybe we have something that emulates a sunset and then we have this wallpaper. Maybe we should go for something more sunset. Let's go all out. Which sinks fit? This is very mid-century. We could go with this and it will kind of fit the um, outside of the house. We'll put two. I'm gonna go with the darker one so it matches the top. And we're gonna center this. I never use this because it's huge so I shrink it down and I kind of like how it looks there. I always put that with the candles. <laughs> I'm so repetitive with that. But it looks really cute. Either those or this. This matches the aesthetic and the colors. It's actually pr pretty much perfect. Okay, so this is our bathroom complete, our sunrise bathroom <laughs> kind of inspired. I also used a couple of things that I had put on the corridor because it will be a lot if not. I basically put some decorations over here, uh, a towel in here. I used this as a kind of shelf too for some more clutter, some towels, some clutter around here and a robe. And that's it for our sunrise bathroom. I raised also the plan to be here in the window. Moving along, let's cross this one over. Only 11 to go. So this one is very weird and I don't know what to do for it. A lot of times when I want to join these challenges, I don't use the official prompt list because there's a lot of weird things, sometimes because of trends, as you can see there's some from movies um, that are coming out and things like that. Sometimes they're just weird things for whatever reason. And some other words that are like very open to interpretation. For the times that I've done anything for Mermaid, I never use the official prompt list. This is the first time and I'm not using it for drawing. Music for a sushi restaurant. How do we do that? Um, I'm thinking we can try to apply that for the kitchen. I have no idea, like, if we search sushi, doesn't... I think we might have to be a little bit creative for this. I was thinking that maybe we could use some decoration that reminds us of a sushi restaurant. I'm gonna look into Snowy Escape and see what we can find, because I think if we could find things that will remind us of a sushi restaurant, it will be there. I'm directly looking into all of it, so debug included. I'm gonna take some of these put them around. Oh, look, sushi. Okay, we have something sushi related. We can use this for our kitchen and could have like Japanese touch with maybe these stools. Okay, so maybe we can use also this to section off this part. This item is huge, but we have a lot of space here, so it's no escape. Diva is quite big. So I put out <laughs> some items and it looks really bad right now. But I'm gonna arrange this into a kitchen and dining room somehow. I'm still very unsure about this layout. This is like very large. I was also thinking of using this as a separator here. Uh, maybe I'm gonna surround it by walls. I was thinking that this might fit inside, but it doesn't. So I was thinking of doing something like this to section off the space. It will definitely help. I'm like not convinced, but not mad about it either. <laughs> debating. And also I think we should add the music element, like obviously we can't do much with the topic we have, so maybe we can put some speakers. Like I think I'm just gonna put the ones from Spaddy. Whoever lives here really likes music. They need it for cooking. <laughs> I don't know if I should keep going through the list, at leaving the elements around and then arrange them. Because sometimes it's harder to incorporate them later if not, and we already have a lot to do with this. I'm gonna cross over this and then the next one is body positive. And this keeps getting harder, I feel like. What the heck am I supposed to put here that's body positive? Maybe in the gallery we can find something. My gallery doesn't want to connect right now, so I'm just gonna take a note here and I'm gonna look later. Next one is zodiac, nice. So I know we had a hanging thing of 
that for some reason reminds me of Zodiac. That's all I can think about. Because we don't have like anything Zodiac related on The Sims, right? Okay, hear me out. I'm thinking a Sian stable, but we will pretend it's a tarot reading table. Um, tarot has a lot to do with uh, Zodiacs, right? Please don't kill me if I'm not right, because I don't know that much about this stuff. I'm gonna take a bit of a different approach to this, and I basically put a Sion stable with these cards that kind of look like Tarot to me, the same with the centerpiece. Then I've also grabbed the Circle of Salt. I just basically embraced the witchy vibe over here. I've also took some things here as well from the Paranormal pack, and I'll just do a little space around here that's like a Sion's reading table, and we'll go with that. So we'll take off the 22 prompt. Hi again! I took a break of like a week and I just quickly took some time to go back in, settle myself, check back on the prompts that we did last, and find something for self-love that we skipped before. It's not self-love, sorry, it's body positive, which was prompt 21. But before that, I was looking in the gallery and it took me a while because it was very laggy, so I couldn't look very properly, but I, I could look enough to find this painting. Like some of the art that I've put down is from Holy Smawau. She's really great, I followed her, but some of the others are from, let me check. Okay, so I found it so I can show you. This is the one. The other one that I found is Minor Rita. So I just want to give credit to that, to all three users that I used. And this is the other art that I'm not sure if I'm going to place yet, so I'm just quickly going to leave it there. So the other ones that I placed is a couple of these, because they're like kind of sunset related, and we did that prompt with this, but I thought maybe it wasn't enough. I felt like I wanted some more wall art that wasn't like all the prompts that we had before, you know? I put another one of those around here because it was like a set and this also fit. And then these two that you can see over here, which are really pretty, is from the body positive prompt. So I went on the gallery, I really didn't know how we, I could interpret that. So the best way I could find was maybe find some pictures of that. And I found this too that I really like. I actually have some paintings that, kind of, that are kind of similar to that of my own. If I could quickly put them down on Sims, I would, because they will match perfectly. And the third one was this one. It's more decorative and less focused on the body positive, but it's kind of like a happy, cute painting. So I just left it here because I said that this will be an office space, and I thought that it will be inspiring to have it around. So that's all we did for these two prompts, but we can already cross body positive, and we can move on. Moving along, the next prompt is tradition, and not to skip prompts, but I was kind of thinking that with all that we did up here with this Cinco de Mayo prompt, I think that this kind of already represents tradition. We said that this was like a reminder of her home, of her traditions and her heritage. So what's better than that? I think you can see my point, so I'm gonna skip that one. Well, not skip, I'm gonna take it as all of this, because actually we didn't only put one thing for Cinco de Mayo, we did like a whole floor decoration with that. So I think that's tradition enough for two prompts, isn't it? And the next one, this is very odd, is Zadi. I had to google that. My native language is not English, you probably can notice by my mistakes, but I was like a little bit confused with that. And technically it's like a handsome man, probably older, sexy vibe. And I was just thinking to connect it with this one as well, because I don't know how to put this. I actually searched the gallery, see if I could find something that will relate to that, but I couldn't find anything specific to that. I could maybe search portraits of men, but then again, we already have this part over here, the tax with our story. I think it kind of relates, like maybe we can say that he was older. I'm sorry if it feels like I'm skipping prompts, but it just doesn't feel like something we can, in the shape of an object. Like, let me put this chair. This is Zadi represented, it's not. We basically moved three prompts down down, and we're down on the 25th, we're so close, and this one is food. I'm obviously gonna put food down below in the kitchen, uh, so I thought maybe we can just search for something, for an item that has food on it. We could maybe say that she had a food truck, but it doesn't match my mental story of her. She's hiding her identity, so I don't think she will have like a thing out here to sell stuff and having people coming around all the time. I think I'm just gonna go with the traditional sense. I was thinking of the fruit bowl or something that has visible fruit. 
So I'm gonna place right now like a bowl of fruit or, or two. I might place like this bowl that looks a lot more tropical and fits our vibes and maybe one more normal fruit bowl. And that's our food topic covered. One less to go. So the next one is Jewel. And again, I'm thinking about reusing prompts, but we put so many things down here and we put a plate of jewels. And in fact, when I put this, I'm like my eyes kind of fell on the prompt and I said this is perfect because it will do for the jewel prompt. But then if we want to go for it in the more traditional sense that we could interpret it here in the jewels that she wears. And I think we have plenty of space to put a little makeup area with this jewelry stunt. I think it's the only one we have, but we can also put like some more boxes and some more things like that. And I cannot for the life of me find where these desks are supposed to be. I had the hardest time remembering the word vanity because <laughs> i was looking for this um i know there's more i think there's like two more but i can't remember how to find them and in, in which category they are i really cannot for the life of me in any case i think i'm gonna use one of these okay so after a quick break i reviewed the objects and i couldn't find anything else that has jewelry on it maybe i'm skipping something probably so the only thing i could think of was a jewelry box other than that i just put some clutter over here of things that you will have on a vanity it's not jewelry but i think it's kind of related in the same pack of things so we're gonna leave that there let's move to the next prompt and this is the one that i was really really dreading because i don't know how we could represent this the only thing i can think of is checking on the gallery and i'm gonna do that real quick but it's really laggy today so i don't know if i'm gonna have any luck with that okay so as i suspected i cannot for the life of me find anything that's not a sim i've searched in rooms but there's nothing so there's no are the only thing i can think of to represent this is searching for a fork <laughs> and trying to represent a little mermaid with all of this because i mean yes it will be an option to add this sim into our lot but then again we did like a house with one bedroom we weren't expecting to add more sims to the family to our lot and also as we introduce characters around in this story but i didn't put any on the lot there's some that are really cool down here so shout out to these creators because this is great okay so as i said i'm gonna do this if you have any other idea of how i could do this i'm probably not gonna go back in the build and add it but i would love to know how you will interpret some of these prompts maybe i haven't seen the remake i don't know if it's has it come out yet i'm not sure i'm probably not gonna watch it i haven't been seeing any of the remakes mainly because I really don't like to watch a movie that's the exact copy of another movie done again. I kind of prefer the animated versions, the traditionally animated versions too, because it's like cuter for me. As an artist, I prefer it that way. This is the best we can do. Then the next one is Sailor. We already put a lot of sea decoration and I don't know what we could do. Um, let me quickly check for Sailor here. We get a window. Great. Um, I think maybe we could look into the pack of cats and dogs because that world, the Bridget Bridgerton Bay it is, I think, has a lot of stuff that looks nautical. And maybe we could use that for floors, walls and things like that because we are missing quite a few and maybe this is a good way to in incorporate this prompt okay so some of these definitely look a little nautical to me i don't know if they match the vibe of the house other than that these are all shingles that i don't fully love and this is wood this this could look really cute here this will be really nice with the color scheme we have going on maybe we could do this for the entrance so we can finally have some color over here this is nice i like this wood sample i've never used it i'm seeing blue as a, some of the next prompts and i'm thinking that we could use this one and i'm thinking i'm gonna do this one for the bedroom also let me tell you that i put blue as some of cleo's favorite color and i already used blue around this house quite a lot so definitely floors we can put wooden floors and in fact i kind of like this swatch i use it a lot pretty sure we have um lighthouse object like it's kind of a toy or sculpture i think that would be perfect for this prompt. Okay, so what's more nautical than these? I think we could put this near the pool. I'm placing these items down and thinking, how odd will it be for a mermaid to have objects that remind them of the 
of the humans that sometimes will probably get mermaids caught up in nets. Should we go for it? Like another option could be putting this down on the basement as some sort of a treasure thing that she found. And look, we have this very empty wall, why not? Okay, so this corner piece has some nautical things as well. And I guess it kind of matches with our mermaid. So I'm gonna leave it there for now. Okay, I found it. Here's the lighthouse. So uh, we're gonna leave it down here because I'm gonna put it as decoration somewhere. I've also seen this. I think I'm gonna leave them for the bathroom and maybe around the bathtub or something. I'm gonna use some of these lamps. I've also did a quick moment here with some of the plants from cats and dogs and the barrels. I know this is not exactly a sailor per se, but I think it's the vibe. I've also added some more objects around here. I think that also matches the vibe. Okay, so I've placed a couple more items around here because I decided that I want to use this. I never use it because of the corner thing, but I kind of like that object. So I'm going to make like a little corner space here and use it. I think I'm gonna apply it for now in these couple of walls around here and we'll see as I go. So we can take off Sailor and the next one is Barbie and I think I said this before when we did, which one, Murfairy um, and we put up this poster that maybe we can take this as Barbie as well because really um, the only other thing I can add is probably a doll. So I'm gonna search for dolls. The only other figure we have is this one and this is like a, an action figure, not a it's a girl, but it's not, it's definitely not Barbie. Okay, so I'm gonna put these posters here in the forgotten room, because we also said that maybe she puts here things that she doesn't want anymore as a sort of sport storage, as well as the things from the ex-boyfriend. And this doesn't match her all with anything in the room. What we're gonna do is kind of go with the aesthetic, maybe a Barbie aesthetic. Also, I've seen in a lot of rooms that do Barbie that have, they have this painting. So I think I'm probably gonna go for these two paintings up here and probably gonna discard this one and try to go for a blue and pink color scheme out here. And maybe with some items that remind us of like the pinkish aesthetic that maybe a Barbie could have here. And that's that will be our way to interpret this. The thing is we only have one prompt left. I'm gonna do that as the completion of the house later. So I'm gonna cross Barbie. I'm gonna do some more blue things to cross out the rest. So I'm gonna filter with blue and I think I'm gonna filter with mid-century too. So we have the tiles from Growing Together as a mid-century vibe and in blue. This is not my favorite swatch but we also, oh, we also have a darker blue so maybe we could use that instead and it matches quite nicely with our pictures there. I don't know if I said this but we have another bathroom down here. To match up with our story, I don't know if you remember because we've been adding so many things. We said that we have a werewolf friend that sometimes comes and hides in here because he's a villain, he does villain things. We help them out. I thought that if they hide down here whenever she has guests or something, it might be a long time before they can get out. So I'm gonna do a quick bathroom down here. Why am I saying this? Because we can also use some blue down here. Okay, I completed our bathroom. It's really very simple. I'm just gonna show you so you know what I did, but it's nothing major. It's also a little bit over the place, but it's kind of on purpose. I feel like these two rooms would have been like added maybe for the sake of this. Maybe it was some empty space that she had after building all of these. They would have been like a little bit all over the place because we already have like a very weird aesthetic over here. Moving right along, we have the last prompt and this is another one <laughs> that is a little bit open to interpretation. The 31 prompt is good night and the only thing that I was thinking that could match here is maybe a night light. And we also have like the moon lamps and I thought that that would be like kind of appropriate too. And that's the only things I can think of to represent good night. So I found this item. It is actually called say good night something. It's in the kids stuff, but I thought it was kind of cute. That's it and we're done. <laughs> Can't believe it. And I've also added this moon lamp. Right now I think I'm gonna quickly take a break from recording because I actually don't want to put all the footage of me pulling this together in the video because we already have so much footage of me searching for these items and 
tying them together. And I'm gonna finish this room, then I'm gonna go downstairs and finish the kitchen, dining, living room, and I'll get back to you in a few minutes with all of this. Hi, I finished building the upstairs part. So both this corridor and the bedroom are done now and I'm gonna quickly show you. So you might see some of the items we already had. I basically rearranged some, add some, I took off some, not many. I don't think I've taken off more than one or two. So basically the outside is almost the same. I just moved this around and I added the yoga mat so you can have some sort of other skill to go out here because I felt it was a little empty. Then over here, if you remember, we have our bathroom, sunset themed. And over here I did some arrangement of things. I went for a vibe in between paranormal and what we already had that was kind of like inspired by Finco de Mayo. Over on this corner I added the hanging plant. I kept the skulls right here. This I cut, just moved slightly. Oops, this door keeps doing that. Added this table here, moved the incense over here, and I you might notice that I started adding some pink touches so we can kind of tie together the pink of the bedroom with this. Over here I did a little studio space, I think it looks kind of cute. This is a paranormal table too. I filled up this shelf with more items, basically some of these candy jars and the hand and this skull. Just added a few more things over there. This is still the same, just added this book. I kept this zodiac painting here because I think it fits there, it looks nice. Over here we have our Sion stable. I thought this could be kind of like a waiting room sort of thing. I added this bowl, um, kind of a crystal bowl, and over here I decorated a little bit more over on our meditation space. Mainly added these candles around here and this plant, a couple more of hanging plants, and then this is basically the same. Over here I changed the door to a pink door, so we can already start moving along. You might see here that I moved some of these around the house so they're not all together downstairs in the same space. And you can already get a pic of how this bedroom looks. I'm quite happy with it. I'm feeling a little bit uninspired and in fact I'm gonna stop building and leave the downstairs area for tomorrow. I think it came together pretty nicely. I mean this is not an aesthetic I'm quite familiar with but I think it looks nice. So let me show you. Over here near the entrance door I put this wardrobe. I moved the picture around here. As we said, these two pictures are for her mom, so that was a prompt. So I divided them around here. I put them together, but I didn't like it, so I decided to divide them like so. I changed the swatch to the door right now because the brown doesn't make sense as much anymore. A couple of hanging plants because they definitely make the space a lot more cozy, along with these blankets. I put this painting over here. As you can see, I used a lot of Discovery University. I felt that that matched the, the Barbie aesthetic for some reason. I put this over here. I'm not entirely convinced. I'm gonna leave it for now. Tomorrow when I revisit, I'll see, because sometimes you need just to give the things some space so you can reevaluate. A couple of plants here. I hide the nightlight back there. This little nook over here with some of our meditation books. Over here we have our vanity. Um, the items are the same. I had to put the shell chair and I added this lamp over here instead of outside because I feel like that much better. A little plant and this jungle adventure mirror. And basically that's it. This is our upstairs now. It's finally time for the mermaid house reveal. And it took longer than one might expect for me to finish this house, but we're here, we're done. And by the way, I don't know why the heck is there a naked sim in there. If you hear some purring, we actually have a guest for our reveal down here. Wanda! There she is, back to being curled down there. So, this is our house, you might remember it, because <laughs> you are actually watching the same video. Oh, what happened to this floor? So now that we're done, I'm going to show you a quick peek through the whole house, but first of all, let me show you the first floor, because we have it complete now. So. Let's go room by room. I added a few things to our entryway to make it a little bit more homey. Over here I moved some of the fish pictures, some of these plants, just this corner piece, a plant over here and this little thing with a coat rack. 
If you move over here, you have our fishing tank that we will need to fill up, by the way. Over here, you have just a little space with some plants, this thing, and I put this painting hanged here so it looks like it's on top of there. Our sushi sign, because you might remember some of the prompts that actually inspire this whole kitchen. And over here, we have our kitchen. It's really big and really light. I really love it. And over here, I made a little bit of a dining space. You want to see our sim over here? Because I just have her here to test this out. In fact, if you want to check it out, this actually works. I tested out both this sit and here, and she can sit there. So yay. I wanted you to do this little nook for eating space. Use these counters from Snow Escape. And I cluttered everything down here because I love these counters, but if you don't clutter them, I don't feel like they feel like proper counters because you will have a lot of stuff in the kitchen. So I basically put stuff everywhere, like pots and pans, a lot of different types of clutters. The shelves that I put there, like just against the bookshelf and with this separation. And I think it looks really nice all together there. Um, as you can see here, some detailing from the kitchen. I had a hard time putting curtains up here, so I just decided to put these vines. And I think they look really, really cute. So I hope you like our kitchen. Let's move on to the living room. And I put some plants over here and I made this as a sort of separation. Sorry guys, I keep finding mistakes. I think I changed things and then I didn't check if they were completely fixed. Over here, our chimney, I put on top of this just a shelf with some clutter, books, and this. Over here, I put a record player to some more clutter, a bookshelf with our selfie from prompt number one. Some more clutter that looks like more mid-century vibes, so we can fit it all together with the aesthetic of the outside of the house. And over here, I kept it pretty simple. I wanted to put this corner piece, and I filled the corner with this thing, I think it's from Cats and Dogs, that also has a little boat in there. And over here, I kept it pretty simple. It's a very big space, so sometimes I feel a bit overwhelmed when they're too big. And I usually have a better time cluttering than playing well with the empty space, but still, I like it like this. I didn't want to over clutter this part because we have so many different things from the different prompts that I think it was already eclectic enough. So over here, we have our movie posters things that we did for one of the prompts. The only thing we have left is the bathroom. And again, I didn't overcomplicate myself too much. We just put over a shower. Over here, I made this double shelf moment with just a few knickknacks to clutter up the bathroom. Over here, I made, I made this space for a bathtub. I just feel like in a mermaid house, you will have a bathtub. But I always like to have a shower because I feel like in my gameplay, I prefer to just shower. I feel it's faster. And over here, we have our self-love prompt. Was self-love? Body positive prompt paintings and just a, a double sink moment down there because we had a lot of space so I wanted to fill it up. That's all, that's the house. Let me quickly give you a fast tour of how this looks on the outside. Here you go. We have, we have our back patio over here. I fixed all the issues that I had in the beginning when I quickly play tested with our sim moving around. We have some small areas. I left this pretty empty thinking that we might put more things in here in the back, but I don't dislike it like this. I don't want it overcrowded either. So we have our little meditation area down there. Nice balcony there. Or the very eclectic upstairs hallway with our tarot reading table, all this very colorful style. Um, our little studio, then our sunset bathroom, and our pink Barbie bathroom. We have our upside down plant down there. And then downstairs, and you might have seen in the top, we had some of these bubbles coming through our floor, but that, that's kind of fun. We have a flower arranging table over here for some creativity. Just some cute things. Very mysterious, a lot of knickknacks. I feel like this is like the mermaid vault. I really like this room. It's very different from anything I've ever built, but it's really fun. And I love that we have our secret friend or escaping down here when 
when they need it. And then we have a quick bathroom that I did down here too. So this is all. This is the mermaid house. Wow, that was this was really eclectic. I didn't think I've ever built something like this and I'm really excited to do more stuff like that. And in fact, it kind of inspired me to do more eclectic, crazy stuff. I'm gonna put this on the gallery right now um, and I hope you enjoyed it if you decide to play through with this. I hope it works properly. I hope you enjoyed this build, this very random video, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!